I'm standing outside Boston's Old North Church, where a signal was sent 230 years ago. Two lanterns were hung from the steeple, triggering Paul Revere's famous ride and kicking off the American Revolution. But it's not about the history, it's about the signal. Your TV remote control or a flashlight blinking Morse code isn't too different from this candle lantern. The real advances in signaling with light would have to wait for a 20th century invention, the laser. Now it seems light signals are set to spark another revolution, or at least revolutionary changes in how we explore our solar system. NASA is planning a mission to Mars in 2009 that will send a laser to the red planet. Rovers on the surface will send a flood of data by radio up to a communications satellite in Mars orbit. Then a mixture of radio and laser transmitters will shoot the data back to Earth. Engineers think the laser will allow data to flow up to 30 times faster than radio links currently achieve. An interplanetary laser link has real advantages over radio communications because of some important qualities of laser light. The light from lasers is unique because it's very intense. It naturally is in a narrow beam and it also is virtually all at the same frequency, the same color. We've sprayed water droplets into the beam so some light reflects out to the camera lens, otherwise you couldn't see it at all. A laser beam is narrow in the sense that if you were looking at the beam from a great distance, it would remain very similar, unlike, say, a searchlight, which tends to spread out as it travels farther away. The laser beam is almost the same width when it leaves the laser as it is at reasonable distances. The next step is to somehow code information on the narrow, intense beam of light. Information is placed on a beam of light in the simplest way. Whatever you want to say, music, your checking account, uh, an internet site, make it into a series of ones and zeros. Then the one becomes the light is on, the zero becomes the light is off. And if you do this fast enough, you can transmit tremendous amounts of information with simply on and off coding. Fiber optic cable is used to transmit laser signals through walls or over the horizon, but it's possible to send the signal without cable. If you just need to move data between two buildings in a city's downtown, you don't need to tear up the street to bury cable. You can just aim a laser terminal, a device to send and receive laser light signals, out your window to another laser terminal within line of sight. With precise aim and a path clear of trees or buildings, you can move data fast, an entire compact disk's worth of data in 30 seconds. Because the beams are so narrow, it's difficult to eavesdrop on the laser signals, ensuring privacy. The beams are actually infrared, not green, so they're invisible to the naked eye. On Earth, they can travel as much as two miles in clear air, but a New England fog can reduce the range. Fortunately for NASA, the space between planets doesn't have any air, much less fog, to disrupt the signal when the Martian communication satellite sends its first revolutionary signal across the millions of miles from Mars to Earth. In Boston, I'm Ty Vienicke.